Hey guys, Brian with Headwaters Adventure Company, and today we're going to be reviewing a customer's rig. The kayak is a native Titan 13.5, and this customer gave us a call a while ago. He sent me spreadsheets, he sent me pictures, he kind of had this vision of what he wanted, um, so we made it happen. The kayak has a few accessories to it. Um, Matt was actually the one that built it. So what I'm gonna do is swap over to Matt. He's gonna give you an overview, bow to stern, of everything that we did on this boat. So here he is. What's up guys, this is Yak Mandu, and I'm gonna be going over this Titan 13.5 build that we've been working on. Uh, I'm gonna start at the bow. First and foremost, we have the Motor Guide XI3. It's got spot lock and GPS capabilities, which I've personally used spot lock. It's fantastic. It keeps you within a five foot range of wherever your GPS position is. Uh, after that, we've got it plugged into the boat here with a little power port. And then from there, we have it running to our big BioEno lithium battery. And this is a 60 amp hour 12 volt. And that's going to keep this thing running for quite a long time. So also with this trolling motor, we've got the Garmin trolling motor mount transducer, which is really cool because it rotates obviously with the trolling motor. I don't remember the name of the mount, but I will link this in the description at the bottom of the video. The wire is going to be coming up and you got to leave quite a bit of slack just so that it can rotate. And it goes into the hole here with a Hobie wire cover. From there, I'm going to run to the Garmin 93 SV UHD, which is an awesome fish finder. It comes with mapping. Um, but let's get back to the trolling motor first. We have this rope here, which is a, to unlock for your trolling motor to drop. And you would put that in the, in the cleat. <laughs> we'll put it in the cleat and then you can shove this thing out and it's gonna drop down into the water. Once it's already down, we've got your up rope here to pull it back up. And it doesn't take much force, which is really nice. So let me get around to the other side of this boat and I'll show you the yak power system. So we've got a hull mounted switch system. Uh, the relay is inside, but first off, what you wanna do with this system is turn it on and it does glow. It is hard to see in the light. Uh, the nav lights in the front, we have stern lights, which are red and green running lights. And as a motorized vessel, you are required to have running lights. From there, we go to number one switch which is the fish finders which i do have connected together so turning on number one will turn on both fish finders which is nice especially having two connected fish finders which we'll get to in a minute i also have number two set as these naqua usb ports which is great for charging your phone or anything else that you want to do i know this customer is going to be using it to keep track of his fish hawk so a uh, fish hawk is something that when you drop it down into the water, it'll take the water temperature from the specific depth that you have it at, and it relays all that information and a lot more that I don't know about into your phone. So he's gonna have that mounted almost like another fish finder. Uh, from there, I will talk about the fish finders a little bit more. So with the fish finders, like I said, they're connected. So these ones actually have an ethernet cord. So we have two transducers, one mounted on the bow, one on a transducer arm over here on the right hand side on my left here so the fish finders will actually talk to each other which is pretty cool so one of these transducers has side imaging and the other one doesn't but since the fish finders talk to each other you can get both screens on whichever one you want this is the 93 sv uhd eco maps and this is the 73 so a seven inch and a nine inch fish finder continuing down to the back for one thing as you guys can see there is two seats so this is going to be used as a tandem boat customers are both smaller people this can't be used for everyone unfortunately but you can do it if that's something that you think you can fit and you want to do from there we have the boondocks landing gear which for a monster of a boat like this is completely necessary because if you need to roll it around there's only one way to do it me and brian picked this thing up not fun so we're going to treat it like a boat launch it off the trailer but if it ever does need to be rolled wheels are necessity and something like the boondocks landing gear is heavy duty enough to take the weight of this boat from there going back a little bit further we've also got lights on the stern so we've got the blue yak power lights in the back and that's more so uh, if you're out there fishing at night early in the morning late in the evening you want to have some sort of lighting system so you can tie hooks 
uh, but not so bright that you're blinding yourself. And these blue lights are really nice because they're not exceptionally bright, but they're bright enough to keep track of everything that you have in the boat. From there, we'll go back all the way to the stern, and we've got the micro power poles. And those are controlled with this micro power pole controller here. So a lot of the stuff in here is uh, done with the key fob so that it can be controlled from the seat. We've got the micro power pole, as well as I forgot to talk about the motor guide controller for the bow mount trolling motor. And that has all of your features on it, uh, fast or slower, left, right, spot lock. It's got everything you need so that from a sitting position, you can have control. So with micro power poles, We've got them running in unison. Oh, I forgot a few. <laughs> you keep clicking, they're gonna go all the way down. But this is gonna be a great shallow water anchor, especially because with two, you stay positioned. If you have one in the breeze, you can blow left and right and sway around. But with two, you are stuck where you are stuck and the boat can't be swung around the wind, the breeze, the tide. So when they're not bass fishing or doing any sort of shallow water fishing, they have these downriggers that they could swap out to. This is a multi-species, multi-use boat. And with the downriggers, you can do a lot of trout, salmon, really whatever you want. And it's super easy to do. For one thing, they're completely removable if you just wanted to take this off. And to do the power poles, you take off the plate. We got spare plates from Native and mounted the other power poles to it. So you can really change these out as you like or leave them off and leave them at home if you're not going to use them that day. The last couple things that we're going to go over is these, which we have nice labels on. But what these are are two Yak Power power ports. And what that is for is an outside external charger for the kayak. So the batteries are going to stay inside this boat. You're going to plug this in, plug it into the wall, and now you've got uh, your batteries charging without ever having to move the kayak or take the batteries out. The other thing that's even cooler than that is that while driving, we've got a trailer mount charger set up. So I've got this contraption here that uh, came from BioEno. And what this is, is going to be, let me remember which one. So this plugs into the trailer, which we have also added a power port to. So that's going to go right in there. This is going to go right in here. And what this is doing is powering the batteries through the trailer. So the trailer just being on the car and taking the energy from the battery is putting that power into the batteries in the kayak. So while you're driving from one place to another, you are charging your boat. Thanks for watching this walkthrough. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow us on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook at Headwaters Adventure Company. And follow me at Yak, Yak Mandu Rigging and Repair on Facebook and YouTube. And Yak underscore Mandu on Instagram. If you guys need any rigging, repairs, or anything kayak related, come into the shop or give us a call. We'll get you taken care of. Your adventure starts here.